In this video we are going to see an important quality that every guitar should have, the sound balance of all the notes in all the registers of the guitar. There are several uh, types of sound balance quality that a guitar has. In this video we are going to focus on this particular kind of balance. When we play a note on the guitar, the sound we produce develops differently on each guitar in relation to four parameters sound attack, sound sustain, sound decay and resonance. You may hear sometimes someone say this guitar has a, a fast or a slow attack or response. The attack parameter is how long it takes uh, for the note to project the sound from the moment we touch the string, we play the string so here we are talking about a parameter that is uh, measured uh, in, in milliseconds. The second parameter sustain is how long the note sounds while maintaining the same intensity. We are talking about a sustain can be long or short, it can last uh, longer or shorter and the decay parameter is the way in which the note disappears, uh, decreasing the sound. It stops sounding little by little until it, uh, it reaches silence. And this decay can be uh, long or pronounced decay. On the contrary, a short or very fast decay. We can also talk about it as be a gentle decay or a soft decay, etc. You can see uh, these uh, three parameters as they are in your guitar by playing notes in trebles and basses. Keep in mind that on the guitar the low bass notes uh, will always have more sustain than the high treble notes. The fourth uh, parameter is the resonance. resonance. Resonance is what we call here uh, the amplitude of sound, the quality of the harmonics contained in, in that note, the intensity of that note. So we hear, for example, something like uh, that note has a lot, of, a lot of harmonics. Also partly the expression, it, it has a, round, a rounded sound, has to do with this parameter. We also hear the notes the notes are very intense or, or that note uh, resonates a lot. It has a lot of uh, sound amplitude. Our guitar uh, can have one kind of sound depending on how the sound resulting from these four parameters together is produced. And as for the quality of balance of the notes of the guitar, uh, this is established depending on whether these four united parameters appear equally in each of the notes, one by one. By testing in different registers of the guitar on the, on the low notes and on the high notes, as we, as we have said. To see this quality in our guitar, we do a very simple exercise, which is to play one by one each note in a chromatic way on each of the strings going up from uh, position 1 to the, to the last fret, 17, 18, 19. paying attention and observing how the attack, sustain, decay and resonance of each note are produced in our guitar. I repeat again, the more similar these four parameters together appear in each of the notes we are playing, the better quality of sound balance uh, between notes our, our guitar will have. And the fact is that in most guitars we all will find differences. It is very difficult to find a guitar with a perfect sound balance between notes. 
very, very difficult. Here is a graphic example so that you can understand what we are looking for and what we want to hear. If you play a chromatic scale on your guitar, as we say, and let's say we play the first string, we could see that our guitar develops uh, this sound on the open air note E with, with certain char characteristics in the resonance and in the attack, sustain and decay. Let's suppose in an idyllic way, I would say, that our guitar has a perfect sound balance between the notes and we hear this on the note F, um, that is to say it is the same as the note E and then uh, this on the F sharp, this on, on G, this on G sharp, this on A, this on A sharp and this sound on V. Um, so we go down to the last frets as we have said and we see each note as it is produced. If the guitar has produced uh, each note in the same way as we can see in this graph, then we are talking about the guitar with an excellent uh, sound balance. In this case it's, it's perfect. But I would say again that uh, this is uh, very difficult to find. Normally it's not like that. And many times we are going to see that maybe on our guitar it does this. The note E produces, uh, produces uh, e like this, the note F like this, F sharp like this, G, G sharp, A like this, with, with a lot of resonance, A. Later I will explain why this happens on this note, why there is such a difference in the resonance between G sharp and A. And if we move uh, toward the last frets, uh, we will also see things like the note B like this, the note C, and maybe C sharp all of a sudden like this. Let's first see what happened with this uh, note C sharp. Why did it sound less? The decay was very fast and the sustain was uh, shortened in a very obvious way. Here we find what we call a wolf note. Wolf notes are one of the biggest uh, headaches for guitar makers. They are notes that, I repeat, suddenly uh, sound very obviously much shorter than the others. We say they are like uh, death notes. We call them sordas in, in Spanish. I don't know if that's how they are also described in, in English. And many times you find the guitar maker doesn't know why that wolf note appear there in, in, that, uh, in that thread uh, of the guitar. So there is something in the making of the guitar that has gone wrong and, and that causes that, uh, that note to be shortened. I wonder if it's maybe a, a strut in the front bracing that is placed in, in an ap inappropriate way that makes that note not sound the way it's supposed to sound or maybe the, the thicknesses he used on, the guitar maker used on back and, and top woods uh, caused that, or, or maybe the guitar is tuned to a frequency that when that note is played, the, the overall frequency of the guitar causes it to make it shorten. I don't know, because every guitar, uh, every guitar uh, is tuned to a frequency. I don't know if you know that. Some are tuned in a frequency between F sharp and G, others between G and G sharp, uh, even, even A. It's something I, I'll try to talk uh, about in another video because it's, it's actually very interesting. Anyway, the, the Wolf note problem can be very varied. Uh, again, it's, it's the guitar maker's uh, job to know why this happens and to make sure that it doesn't appear on, on his next guitar because uh, we guitarists don't like it. If, for example, a guitarist is playing a slow lyric melody in that area where the note needs to be heard with a certain sustain, and suddenly we, when the guitarist reaches that wolf note, it is involuntarily shortened, and one could say that it kind of destroys the, the interpretation. With these wolf notes, you have to see that it is not the same as having a wolf note here, here on, on this C, 
note on the on the eighth or, or C sharp on, on the ninth fret of the first string of the guitar, which you are almost always going to play in, in all in all the pieces. If this whole note is found on frets that appear in the works in 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 a in a common way, then we are talking about a major problem on the guitar. Now, if the wolf note is on on, on this uh, G sharp at the sixteen um, fret, which you will almost never play in the pieces you play, then it is a much lesser problem for the guitar. Let's go back to the graph. What happened to the note A on the fifth fret of our first string? Well, the guitar has produced uh, more harmonics in it. It has a more sound amplitude. And when we play this note, other strings of the guitar sound by sympathy and more harmonics are produced. It is, uh, let's say, a natural fact that this happen, happens in guitars. If we focus on the notes of the first string, for example, on the fifth fret uh, with A, on the seventh with B, on the 12th with E, with the 10th fret note D. Because of that characteristic of the guitar, that is when we play a note, other notes sound by sympathy. This uh, increased uh, resonance can also affect the sustain and decay. Again, the, the, the question is, uh, is it good that this happens, that a note suddenly has a much higher resonance? No, it is not good, because I repeat what we are, as guitarists, uh, looking for uh, is to have total control of our interpretation. We are the ones who interpret uh, the music uh, through the guitar. The guitar alone should not give us uh, more accented notes or notes that are suddenly shortened. Maybe we want to play, uh, uh, for example, maybe we want to play molto pianissimo, uh, that A at, uh, at the fifth fret and suddenly we play it and it sounds with a big uh, resonance and accented with a lot of harmonics, a lot of amplitude. We are not going to like that. And now another question is, what if certain notes have a higher resonance because of something natural in the instrument of the guitar, uh, which is that other strings sound by sympathy when playing that note? How can we avoid this? And can, can it be avoided? Well, that's, uh, that's where the magic of the, of the master guitar maker who has built your guitar comes in and makes that note sound the same as the others. Uh, or at, at least uh, that bigger resonance that is uh, produced is not very accentuated. It is faint and, and therefore doesn't affect our interpretation with uh, much relevance. How does a guitar maker achieve this? I really don't know, but uh, the fact is that some guitar makers of uh, very high quality do achieve it. Um, there are guitars that have, um, that have this, uh, and you see that every note, no matter which one, sounds the same or very similar to the others. It may even be that uh, the guitar maker doesn't know exactly in his making what has determined uh, that, this, that this guitar has such a good balance. But uh, since he knows uh, how he has made the guitar, he simply repeats exactly the same uh, process, the same making process on the next one so that it comes out uh, in the same way. And so this uh, this quality may remain in every guitar he makes. Actually, sometimes it's like that with guitar makers. They try things out and suddenly one guitar comes out very good and they just repeat the same construction process on the next ones. Many other times it's also true they know very well what it is um, that has made the guitar have that quality and they, they look for it with a lot of intention and a lot of knowledge and talent and experience of their work. This simple exercise of playing all the notes of each string chromatically to see the quality and sound balance between the notes can be done on all parts of, of the guitar. The area that 
we could say begins to be dangerous and where the sound can be unbalanced is most noticeable in the trebles part and uh, about all on the first string and um, on the first string about about all I tell you from the uh, especially from the seventh fret uh, from the seventh fret toward the, the last uh, the last frets that's where the biggest problems often appear on a guitar in terms of, of balance now um, are we talking about a, a bad guitar if the guitar doesn't have a perfect sound balance of this kind we talk in this video of this kind of balance well not not in my opinion uh, it may be th that the guitar is not great in this quality but it is great in many other qualities for example i prefer a guitar with a very beautiful very nice sound that doesn't have a very very good balance between notes to one that uh, does have a perfect balance let's say but that sound the, the, the sound is very ugly and that the sound quality is is bad that it has no character and doesn't transmit anything. I think uh, you always have to evaluate the, the whole package. The qualities by which we describe a guitar as, a, as being a, a high quality guitar are dozens of qualities. And the fact that one of them fails a little should not make us discard it and consider it a bad guitar. In fact, finding Finding guitars with a perfect balance in all its notes is something very difficult to find, as I say. You are, I think you always have to leave a margin that some note or notes are not totally equal. I even tell you that I have played a, a cheap factory guitars that have a better sound balance than a famous guitar maker's guitar that cost uh, even more than 10,000 euros. Uh, seriously, I found them. But uh, of course, the factory one was kind of a neutral sound, without beauty, without colors, with a, with a very low possibility of dynamics, without any personality. And, and the other guitar, the expensive one, had all, of, all this. So the factory one was a much worse guitar, despite maybe the balance between notes is better. In my personal experience, I have played guitars of great historical guitar makers that didn't have a perfect note balance. And even you can perceive a kind of a little wolf note here or there, or on the other hand, some note with a, also you can find notes with a lot of resonance in those guitar. But its beauty and sound quality is such that the lack of a very, very good quality of balance is a bit in the shadow of having, on the other hand, so many other qualities in, in other aspects of the guitar. Let's uh, listen this uh, this guitar. Uh, I think it's, it has a really great balance. between G sharp and A, you cannot notice so much that uh, uh, bigger resonance. Again.
Here, I think we can listen a little bit of a wolf note, a note that suddenly decay very fast. You see? I repeat. It decays very, the sustain stop and decays very fast. But it is uh, placed in a very high position that almost never you are going to play that, that note. Let's play another guitar now. This one has a lot of resonance on, on open air E. See? You can see that in A and B, and B, <clears throat> they both have quite a lot of resonance. Let's play G sharp. Again. Now B. Let's play, let's play in comparison this uh, guitar, which is a very cheap guitar. I mean, it's a factory guitar, let's say like 500 euros. We have here two notes that they don't have any kind of sustain or they have a short sustain and decay very fast. In comparison with this one for example, no? Let's say this one. This one is better than the, the other. <clears throat> 